Good morning, kids. This is Teacher Abby, your English teacher for today. Have you eaten the most important meal of the day? Our breakfast? Or have you drunk your milk? Have you stretched your arms? Ooh. Well, 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 if you have done all those tasks, well, I bet you are all ready for our lesson for today. But before that, I hope you have already prepared your self-learning module in English, module 5. And maybe later, you will feel hungry so you can also have at your side some pika-pika or some snacks. And the best thing to prepare is yourself, ourselves. Kids, without further ado, let us continue and let us begin our day. At the end of this module, you are expected to first spell out one or two syllable words with consonant blends. Second, spell out words with ending consonant blends. Third, spell out words with consonant digraphs sh and ch. And the last objective for this module is spell words with initial and ending consonant blends and digraph. Are you all now ready? So let's begin. You have words with their respective illustrations inside the box. Can you read it for me? We have Next, how about the third word? How about the fourth word? And how about the fifth word? Very good. We have flower. We have crown. We also have truck. The next is chair. And the last word is clock. Very good. I am going to read the riddle for you. And you are going to identify from the box the answer of the riddle that I am going to read. Let's begin. The first riddle is I give you comfort when you want to rest. I am at home. We also see each other at school. What am I? Second riddle. I am colorful. Bees and butterflies love me. What am I? Third riddle. Oh, here I sit above the queen's head. I am made of shining gold and precious gems. What am I? The fourth riddle is, Going to school, I will take you there. Going through the market, I will take you there. So hop on, and I will take you there. What am I? And the fifth riddle that I'm going to read is Tick-tock, tick-tock Why is my other hand is long and the other hand is short? I sometimes hang at walls and sits on the top of the table. What am I? Do you find the riddles interesting? Were you able to find the possible answer of the riddles? Kids, do you have pets at home or animals at home? Or have you seen different kinds of animals? And where those animals live? I have here a poem titled Animal Hopes. At this point, you are going to read the poem by yourselves. And after you've read it, 
Teacher Abby will reread it before we have a comprehension check. Very good kids! Now, it's Teacher Sabi's turn to read the poem. Animal Homes Most birds I know build their nests in trees, and hides are the homes of the honey bees. A cave could be a lion's den, while a pig can live in a wooden pen. A silk third web is a spider's home, a white ant's hill is like a dome. A caterpillar slips in a leaf cocoon, then a pretty moose will come out soon. An animal home can be this or that, a cardboard box or a lady's hat, a pile of sticks or a mound of clay, but it's still home whatever you say. Very good kids! So let's have a comprehension check. Number one, where do birds build their nests? Where do birds build their nests? Can you write the answer on the answer sheet? Very good! The second question that you're going to answer is, what are spiders home made of have you seen the home of the spiders what are their homes made of that's the second question for comprehension check how about the third question it will be what does a white ants home looks like fourth question based on the point that you have that we have read actually what will come out after the caterpillar slips in the cocoon and the last question is can anything become a home to an animal why or why not this time kids i'm going to show again the poem that we have read kindly notice the underlined words from the point we have birds we have nests we have trees self thread spider we ha also have white ants sleeps pretty moth we also have cardboard sticks mound and clay these words are being underlined and why so why they are being underlined because these words were classified as words with consonants with blends and digraphs or in short we are going to further discuss the consonant blends and the consonant digraphs. I know you are confused, so let us slowly discuss the two things. Let's begin with the consonant blends. And kids, before we proceed to our discussion about the consonant blends and the consonant digraphs, let us have first a short review about the alphabet. Can you still remember 
how many alphabets or how many letters in the English alphabet that we have? Is it 24? Is it 25? Or is it 26? Can you guess it or can you still remember the letters of the English alphabet? Our English alphabet has 26 letters. I'm going to um, sing the alphabet song for us to identify or for us to check if the alphabet has really 26 letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, N, V, W, X, Y, N, Z. So there are 26 letters in our English alphabet. There are two classifications of the letters. We have what do we call the vowels. There are five vowels in our English alphabet and these are A, E, I, O, and U. So there are five vowels in the alphabet. So how many consonant letters in our English alphabet knowing that we only have five vowels in the alphabet it means we have 21 consonants let us check what are the 21 consonant letters in the alphabet we have letter b letter c letter d letter f letter g letter h letter j letter k letter l letter m n p q r s t v w x letter y and letter z we have 21 consonants. Let us now proceed to our discussion, which is the consonant lens and the consonant digraph. What do you mean by consonant blends? Hmm. Consonant blends are also called consonant cluster. These are two or three consonants in words that make a distinct consonant sound for example the consonant s is being blended with the consonant l so it will produce a distinct sound like sl, sl for s and letter l another is if we blend the letter or the consonant p to consonant r it will produce a distinct sound which is prr, prr. we also have the consonant g is being blended to the consonant r so it will produce a distinct sound grr, grr. and there are a lot more of consonant blend that we can have or we can see in various words this time kids i want you to read properly with the correct distinct sound of the consonant blend let us have the first word we also have the second word And our last word is Were you able to read the word properly with the clusters or with the consonant blends? And that's good! There are two kinds of consonant blends. The first kind of consonant blend is the initial consonant blend. 
blends that can be found at the beginning of a word. The consonant blend that we have in the word frog is F and R or the fur. Fur. So fur can be found in the beginning of the word. Therefore, the word frog, a word with initial consonant blend. Another word is bread. Can you find a consonant blend in the word bread? So there is letter B and letter R. Brr. Where can we see brr? Or the B on R. It can be seen in the initial of the word or at the beginning of the word. Therefore, the word bread has initial consonant blend. Another word is crab. Have you eaten a crab or have you seen a crab? Crab has an initial consonant blend. Can you give some words with initial consonant blends? If you have, can you write three examples on your notebook? Another kind of consonant blend that I'm going to teach you is the final consonant blend. If initial consonant blends are consonant blends that can be found at the beginning or at the initial part of the word, this time the final consonant blend, the blend can be found at the end of the word. Example, lamb. So what are the two consonants that blend? We have the letter M and the letter P. So where can we find it? Can we find it at the initial or at the end of the word? So we can see that M and P or the M is at the and so therefore, this word has final consonant blend. Another example that I have here is, what's this? Have you eaten this one? This is corn. Can you find consonant blends in the word corn? Where can you find it? So this is an example of a word with Final consonant blends. Another one is, I'm a girl. You're a girl. Girl, the consonant blends are R and L. R. R. Where can you find it? You can see it at the end of the word. So, girl is a word or example word that has final consonant blends. We are done discussing the consonant blends. I have shared with you different examples of consonant blends. Now, let's proceed to another topic which is all about the consonant digraph. And remember, we are still focusing on consonants. Teacher, what do you mean by consonant digraphs? Consonant digraphs are Two consonant letters that has only one sound when they are together. Two consonants that make one sound. Literally, di means two and graph means letter. So digraph means two letters. But it produced one sound. Earlier, we discussed the two kinds of consonant blends. The initial consonant blends, and the second one is the final consonant blends. And so with digraphs, it also have two kinds. The first one is the initial consonant digraph. Initial, it means the digraph can be seen at the beginning or at the initial part of a word. Initial means at the beginning. One example of a word that has initial consonant digraph is shark. 
So we have a consonant digraph in the word shark. So we have the letter S and the letter H. Can you sound the S and H? It produced one sound. And the sound is And since the sh can be read at the beginning of the word, therefore, it is an example of a word that has initial consonant digraph. How about this? What consonant blends that you can see? It's the letter T and letter H. How do you produce? This consonant digraph. The T and H digraph can be sound as Therefore, the T and H sounds as one and it can be seen at the beginning of the word. It is an example of an initial consonant digraph. We have lots of examples of words with consonant digraph. We have chair. We also have chairman. We have shampoo and thing. Well, very good kids. This time we're going to proceed to the next kind of a consonant digraph. And this is the final consonant digraph. Like the consonant blend or like the final consonant blend, our digraph can be seen at the end of a word. So this time, we have the final consonant digraph. There are lots of examples of consonant digraph that can be seen or that can be found at the end of the word. We have rich. Datu, mayaman, rich. So the digraph there is the ch, ch, C and letter H. And you can see it at the end of the word rich. Another example is brush. Brush. The digraph that we have in this example is the consonant S and the consonant H. You can found the digraph at the end of the word brush. Therefore, this is another example of a final consonant digraph. I will show you the illustration and the word that are examples of a final consonant digraph. We have cash. Trash, bash, this one. Do you like this? Do you like to visit this? This is beach. And since we're able to differentiate the different kinds of consonant blends and the different kinds of consonant digraphs, this time, it's your time to the activity that you can see in your module. For activity one, Fill in the correct initial consonant blends that will complete the name of each picture. For activity 2 in What's More, try to find the correct final consonant blends to complete the name of each picture. For activity 3, you're going to supply ch or sh that will complete the word in each sentence. Go, 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 go. How are you there, kids? Are you still on the go? Do you find it hard or you find it very easy? Kids, can you answer the 
what I have learned in your module for me to check if I was able to share with you properly the differences between the consonant blends and the consonant dike. Can you help me complete these sentences? Let's begin. Today, I have learned that blanc are a group of two or three consonants in words that make a distinct consonant sounds while blanc are a group of two letters that make one sound we're able to find the two right answer of what i have learned well that's great now at this moment i will be making you the dora the explorer at home you're going to room around your house and you are going to look around and find any things any objects or even words that you will find with consonant blends or consonant digraph just give me five words so what are you waiting for explore and learn now i will not hold you too long for you to be able to accomplish the task in your module remember to submit your modules and your answer sheet on the set date by your teachers in case you have some queries clarifications about the topic you can contact your teacher once again this has been teacher abby your english teacher for today bye kids